Okay, we are at section uh, 4.2, two, two dimensional motion uh, with constant acceleration. If you remember from chapter two, we discussed uh, constant acceleration and we came up with equations of motion. Um, and basically we're gonna, we're gonna revisit that, but this time we're gonna do it uh, looking in two, in two dimensions in the horizontal and the vertical, the X and the Y. Uh, so let's uh, share the PowerPoint and this two dimensional motion with constant acceleration. Uh, so what is here is a position vector R and it has two components, X sub I, not X sub I, X I hat and Y J hat. Um, so it's X times the unit vector i and y times the unit vector j and the uh, square root of the sum of the squares of those gives you the magnitude of r and the uh, the the r tangent of y over x gives you the angle uh it's just a, a reminder of what we studied in the last uh chapter chapter three uh, on vectors um, so R is equal to X I plus Y J. Um, and so those are, that's vector addition. Uh, it's the, uh, uh, it's a, the X is a scalar, the I is a vector. So it's just a scalar vector multiplication and um, Y is a scalar and J is a vector. And so it's Y J, it's scalar vector multiplication. But don't just add the X and the Y, you have to do it victorially um, to get the R. And we've discussed that in the last chapter. Um, okay, so the fact that we've separated it into horizontal components and vertical components lets you think about motion uh, with two different, velo two different velocity vectors. Um, uh, but, or position vectors, and uh, if you want to look at it that way, the horizontal red vectors representing the x component of the velocity are the same length in both parts of the figure, which demonstrates that motion in two dimensions can be modeled as two independent motions in per perpendicular directions. So we have first of all the the horizontal direction; it's constant, and the vertical direction is is here. It looks constant. Uh, most likely, if there's not anything uh, making it go at a constant velocity, it's going to decrease in velocity because of gravitational acceleration in the downward direction. Uh, so, um, motion in two dimensions can be modeled as two independent motions in each of the two perpendicular directions associated with the x and y axes. And at the end of um, at the end of the module, I have a recommended video that that shows that uh, it's not an assignment, but it's it's uh, I'm recommending it uh, to you for viewing. Okay, uh, so um, velocity is equal to the uh, dr dt. Well, r is equal to x i hat and y j hat, so it's dx dt i plus dy dt j so it's the uh, velocity vector is equal to vx in times uh, the i vector uh, i unit vector plus vy times the j unit vector uh, so vx final if you recall from chapter two the uh, equations of motion vx final equals vx initial and ax uh, acceleration in the x direction times t i mean that's the equation v uh, v final equals v initial plus a t and we also have v y equals uh, uh v fi in the y direction v y final equals v y initial plus acceleration in the y direction times t now let's look at the components and join the components uh together so we have uh Vx, uh, you know, if we if we look at look at this v final, we have Vx i plus 
uh, AXT times I and uh, VYI plus uh, AYT times J. Now let's group the velocities together and the accelerations together. And you'll see that we, we get the VXI times I hat plus VYI times J hat plus uh, AX times I hat plus AY times J hat times T. Now the T can come out of the parentheses because um, it's not, uh, it's just a scalar multiplier. Uh, and so you get, since uh, V initial is VXI times I hat plus VYI times J hat, um, and acceleration, uh, the acceleration ve vector is AXI plus AYJ. You can substitute, you can condense these uh, with V vector final equals V initial, V vector initial plus acceleration um, times time for constant acceleration. The, the acceleration is varying, this doesn't work. Okay, now we're gonna do the same thing for the other equations of motion. Um, you recall X final equals X initial plus VXI T plus one half AX T squared. You should be familiar with that equation. And we have Y final equals Y initial plus VY initial T plus one half AY T squared. Now most of the time AY is G, the gravitational acceleration. Um, but uh, you know, I see the dots behind me, it's just the uh, initial blinds. I said, what's going on over there on my shoulder? Okay, sorry about the distraction. Now, let's do the same thing that we did. Um, break it up uh, and then gather the components. So R is equal to uh, the, first, the first XF, I mean the first uh, portion of the equation times I hat and then plus the y portion of the equation times j hat. And now let's gather the, the, the common, the common um, parameters, xi plus xi y hat, i hat plus yi j hat plus uh, vx initial i hat plus vy initial j hat times t plus the one half times the ax i hat plus a y j hat times t squared. And we'll get vectors. The r final equals r vector initial plus the vo initial velocity vector times t plus one half the acceleration vector times t squared. It looks very much like the equations of motion we've had in the past, only instead of, uh, we're looking at vectors this time. Okay, so uh, what is it we're looking at? We're looking, um, we have two different, uh, equations here. Now be reminded that this is for constant a. You can see that the v final is equal to a vector sum. The vector, what is the vector sum? It's uh, v initial. As you can see in the red, they have the v initial there starting from the origin and they're adding the acceleration times t. Well, if you take the acceleration, you've got meters per second squared times seconds, you're going to get meters per second. So the a times t is a velocity vector. So you're adding like vectors of velocity and a velocity, uh, V initial plus uh, the uh, velocity you get from the acceleration times time, and you get a V final. So that, there it is, um, kind of a vector sum. Now let's look at the black vectors. Well, you have an initial position vector, R, and you have a velocity times time. Well, velocity is meters per second at times uh, time, you're going to get uh, meters, so you have a position vector in meters uh, times plus the V I T, and that's in meters, and then we have one half an acceleration times T squared. Well, acceleration is meters per second squared times T, which is second squared, you're going to end up with meters. So you're summing meters plus meters plus meters, uh, and that gives you our final. So uh, you can see how it's just a vector sum. Uh, let's see. Let's uh, okay, and that's it. For, uh, projectile motion is a the next section, four three. So we'll stop here and go, create another video for projectile motion.